another brutal edge video on beginner tricks this is something that I think that everyone that's just starting out these are a few things that if you do right away you'll be able to progress much faster uh, I've, I've, these are things that I do on my uh, on the accounts that I start new servers that they just make them go, everything go by so much faster first is your runes as you collect runes you'll get rune chests when you open the chest they'll go into the rune cave when you click on the cave You'll see your rune set up and you'll you'll place different runes at first. You'll only be able to put a couple in um, As you're putting them in you'll get certain bonuses now once you have collect enough runes You'll get what's called rune wars. You'll put sets together uh, Now up in the upper left hand corner It's called recom if you click on recom it shows you all the different bonuses you can get um, These are all the bonuses right there. You just saw for troop attack the, the ones you want to concentrate on are your research your building uh, your building upgrades, your training, uh, your collections. Uh, you want to figure out what runes give you the best bonuses that you have for all of those. And at the beginning of each one of those events, right before you go and upgrade a building, switch your runes to give yourself the best bonus for building. And right before you do a research, switch your runes again to make sure you have the best bonus for doing research. And you want to switch your runes around before you do any kind of upgrade. You can switch your runes around before you go farming, before you do anything. Get in the habit of switching your runes around. Now we're on the ability page. I've, I've kind of got ahead of myself. The ability page, if you click on the uh, your Facebook picture or that picture that I have on the right-hand side of the screen. Uh, that's the newest uh, account that I have. You click on that, that picture. That will bring you into your, uh, your home screen setting. I forget the name of it then you'll click on ability once you're in your abilities every level you go up you'll start off by getting three then six then then uh, you'll, you'll keep on getting more and more uh, talent points and you'll load up your talent points in this uh, this little chart that they have most people what they'll do is they'll put 50% of their talent points on combat 50% of it on growth when you're first starting out and, and that's fine but by the time you get to your second page you want to make your second page 100% growth. You'll be able to put all the talent points you've earned back onto another page and build a second page. Don't do your second page 50-50. Do the second page 100% growth. And make sure you focus on your research and your building construction. This way you can, your research times will go down dramatically with, your, with good ability and, and uh, good runes. You can take some of your big researches from 20 days down to, ten, to like 10. So... And it literally can be that extreme so learn your abilities and make sure you have different pages set up for different things uh, now it costs 200 gems to switch your pages back and forth but these are another thing this is something else that it's actually worth sw spending 200 gems to switch from an all combat which you, let's say if you have 200 uh, talent points you have 200 talent points on all combat so your army is just stout and then you have on your second page you have 200 uh, points on all of your base so then your collections are good and your uh, your upgrading your your research is good and your buildings are good so you switch back and forth before you do events just like you'd switch your runes back and forth those two things are probably one of the biggest advantages that you can gain and it, it takes a little learning uh, now I already I've got a couple of videos out on it already I'm going to make another one j just focusing on the beginner and try to identify all the different things to make it a lot easier but uh, if, you, if you're not a hundred percent understanding just remember you want to switch your runes and switch your abilities before you do an upgrade before you do a research upgrade and that way you can get bigger bonuses for it and if uh, you don't get that leave a comment I'll direct you to another video or I'll let you know I'll message you when I have the next one coming out that will explain that better uh, next one when you're putting your bases onto the map you're gonna start off with one it's just gonna be in a random place by the time you build the second one you want to start thinking about where you want your bases uh, you want to join a clan pretty much as, as soon as you can even if you don't talk to everyone join a clan you get more rewards for that you want to have one of your outposts into the in near the temple 
every horde is going to be kind of collecting around the temple area on most servers so get yourself in the middle of wherever your horde is in the middle that's where your level five and six monsters are you may not be able to get them at first but you'll be able to get them pretty soon so position yourself in the middle somewhere also make sure you have at least one outpost on the edge somewhere along the edge of the map and preferably nuzzled up in, in between some rocks or in the middle of a pond you want to try to have uh, some rocks or water on every one of your outposts it makes a big difference you also want to terraform uh, terraforming is when you'll click on land that's inside your square outside of your outpost and it will let you add uh, trees or add rocks or add water and that is actually helping you collect that and no one just saw me collecting something on <laughs> another color that will actually help you collect those uh, the rocks or the, or, or the wood or whatever even faster so make sure you have a, uh, an outpost in the middle uh, near the temple make sure you have an outpost along the edge uh, along the edge is also where you find all the level one or two monsters and they're just loaded up with them they're everywhere along the edge so make sure you have an outpost on the edge I, and a lot of people don't put the outposts on the edge and um, even if you're later on in the game and you don't want to hunt level one or two monsters well there is still an advantage to have it out there because all of your special events uh, they, they all when you have to hunt for certain items they're all over the outskirts of the of the map so if you have a uh, an outpost along the edge that would be that would benefit you even later on okay next so that was number one and two I think I don't, I don't even remember already let's get into some of the events that happen because there are several events that that are that go on on a regular basis and you can take advantage of the rewards in these events the problem that most people have is they don't prepare for them they just all of a sudden they pop up and they don't have what they need for the events you hear people complaining because they, they say that the game is focusing on you having to spend money you don't have to if you prepare a little bit the first one is fishing my suggestion is you're going to get bait all the time you're going to keep on collecting bait don't spend actual bait unless you're in an in a fishing event uh, once you're in a clan you can use clan coins and you can actually spend like 17,000 clan coins to get some practice bait use the practice bait keep on practicing with the practice bait you can still get good fish with the practice bait and then once you're in the fishing event use the actual bait in the fishing event that way you don't have to spend money same goes with the wish tree you're gonna pick up free wishes from the squirrel from relics once you're in a clan you'll 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 be grabbing relics every once in a while you'll see them all over the place if you're in a big clan uh, you'll get free wishes from these you get daily wishes depending on the level of your tree you'll get daily wishes you want to burn through those every day because you don't get they don't they don't stack up but the free wishes will stack up don't use any of your free wishes unless you're in the wish event that way you can score big in the wish event uh, runes is the same thing you have we have uh, what's called the, the whispering rune event we also have a rune event at the beginning of every server war and every barbarian war I think barbarian I don't even remember now uh, where you can advance your runes you advance the runes in the rune cave you'll, you'll combine runes and make them from level one to level two uh, on and on by using mana you want to do this during the events only don't do this unless you're in an event it's just a waste and you, you'll be able to get event points therefore get a lot of stuff some of these event points are incredibly um, wealthy as far as what they give you uh, last thing use your clan coins wisely um, you want to collect shields and collect teleports at first with your clan coins That means try to help your clan mates out as much as possible every time they ask for a building upgrade uh, You just keep constantly help them uh, And then use your clan coins for the shields use them for the friendly teleports and then eventually you use them for the 15 hour speed ups uh, last thing is in the old ball smitty get him to level 11 as soon as possible at level 11 you can buy the green demon killer you want the green demon killer he's going to be your starter for most new accounts it's one of the best overall heroes you can get without it being luck i am out of time if you are new to brutal age and you have questions leave a comment down in the a question out in the comment section i'll try to get back to as many people as i can as soon as i can I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate everyone for watching. Uh, sub to the channel, and I will see you next time. Take care, everybody.